Welcome to How to Build a Bookcase. Today, we will be building the most popular bookcase from Ikea, the Billy Bookcase. Before we start, it is important that you check the warnings and the information given to us by Ikea. First, these are the tools that Ikea tells us we need to use. We need a flathead screwdriver. We also need a Phillips screwdriver, a pencil, and a hammer. Now, to go through some of the warnings, first, you should not work alone. You should have a friend to help you. Next, do not work on this on a hard surface, for it might crack. You should, instead, work on a soft surface, surface such as carpet. Next, if you have any questions, you sure inch, you should call IKEA for they might know the answers. And lastly, make sure to read this warning label packaged with these brackets, for if they are not installed right there, you may have the bookshelf fall on you once it is installed. Next, we should make sure that we have all of the hardware that IKEA says we should have. Well, it looks like IKEA did not provide us with all of the necessary hardware that we need. So, we should probably go back to the IKEA and find out whether or not we need to call and get these hardware replaced. Now that we have all of the necessary hardware from IKEA, we will continue with steps 1 through 12 for our Billy bookcase. All right, now that we have the first bookcase done, we will not be doing the label, the, reading the warning label and installing the bracket because in fact we do have a, an extension that will be put on top. So we will move on to that. So now that we are going on to our extension, we will be following the steps also that they have laid out here, which there's no need to go over them again because we've already gone over them. We've already verified that we have all of our hardware that we need for this, so we will continue with step one through five. Now that we're at step five, let's look at the example of the actual device, and we can see where we're at. Now that we've installed this extension and we've got it together for the most part, we have noticed something, something very irregular. According to the instructions, these things are supposed to be on the top, along with this sticker, which is somewhat inconvenient. But, for some reason, this is the inside of the bookcase, and unfortunately, this is the face, the side that faces you. Unfortunately, this is not the correct side that should be facing you. Also, we can notice that if we turn this around and look at the other end, this is the side that should be outward. Unfortunately, it is not because the directions are incorrect. Now that we have fixed the incorrect instruction part, we will now put in the backer board. The backer board simply slides in to the very back of this, slides on in, and then you will nail it right here. You will nail it across to hold it in place. But next, we do have more extensions we need to do. So, the other extensions we will now take out and follow the instructions as well. So, we just pulled out the next set of instructions for the other one, and we can notice a very distinct difference. As you can see, they are not the same color. They are also not as thick as each other, which means this is, must be a condensed version, which could, in fact, make it so it's easier. Different pages. They do not actually match up. The other difference that we can uniquely see is this one does not have a back page, while well, this one does. But this could be a condensed version. We've noticed another problem with this set of boxes. This is the correct type of wood. It should be a black and brown wood grain. Now this is what came in that box. Now this is a flat black. You know, I don't know. This is really starting to tick me off. You know, this is the second thing now that's been screwed up. 
But you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt and I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna go back to IKEA for the freaking third time, once to get the stuff, second to get more hardware, and now third to get a different back panel. We'll see what happens. So we've returned from Ikea, and they were happy enough to switch this out. Now, it does turn out that there's a very good reason why. Now, unfortunately, the people at Ikea do not know the reason why this is different than the other, despite the fact that they're the exact same item. But... The difference, in fact, is this number right here. You can see that this number right here, 18882, and this, 11987, are two different numbers. Despite the fact that they are very, despite the fact that they are the exact same number. So, for that reason, that must be why there are a different set of instructions for this one, as well as a different backer board. Because a different supplier means different items. Alright, so we followed the directions once again, and we will now take our backer board, which we got as a replacement from Ikea, and we will slide it into the pre-cut grooves, slide it in, and once we hammer the nails into these spots, we'll be all set. We'll be all ready to put this... Are you effing kidding me? I followed the directions again, and it freaking screwed up again, despite the fact that it's a separate set of instructions. What the heck? Hey, where'd you go? With Ikea! God help me! Ikea, your stress levels will rise.